everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to cook some Turkish rice or it's also known as Greek rice but I call it Turkish rice and I, I like to cook from scratch because I don't really like packet meals too much. If I'm feeling a bit lazy I will use them but I do like to cook from scratch but I like to make sort of healthy meals, nutritious meals, something really nice and interesting and I use um, a few ingredients normally and what I do is pretty quick. So today with the Turkish rice I'm only using three ingredients and I'm using these little small pastas. This one comes in a packet, you can get it in any shop and it's called Mitsidi. I think Mitsidi in Greek means small and they're only tiny little flakes of pasta and they'll go in first and then just one cup of plain white rice and two stock cubes. I'm using the North stock cubes and if you want it vegetarian you can use the vegetarian stock cubes but I'm using two chicken nor stock cubes and that's all it is. I'm going to show you how to make it. On a low heat just warm up a little bit of oil in a pan and when that's warmed through, the oil's warmed through, just add the little pastas just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Make sure you stir them every so often so they don't burn. While that's browning you can see just the small little strips of pasta. They look just like this. Okay, they've browned up quite easily now. Um, make sure you watch them because they can burn. And then I just add my cup of rice, white rice, and just stir that in. Then you want to add some water to the pan and cold water, but you want it to be about an inch above where the rice is. And just bring that to the boil. And while that's boiling, I just crumble in the stock cubes, crush those stock cubes into the mixture, into the mix, and stir it all around. Make sure those stock cubes are well dissolved. And just stir it all in and let it come to the boil. And once that's come to the boil, just turn the heat down low the lowest point and cover it with the lid and just leave a little gap there to let the steam come out and just leave that for the water to evaporate and until the rice is cooked. So all the water's absorbed and the rice is cooked and I just leave it now with the lid on fully and I leave it for about 10-15 minutes just to make sure all the rice has absorbed the water and it doesn't stick. So this is just a quickie video in my kitchen of me cooking the rice and I really wanted to show you because sometimes I have these recipes that are really quick and easy to do, there's not many ingredients and you know you cook from scratch and you feel like you're doing something healthy as well, not just eating out of packets all the time which I really don't like. I do that sometimes when I really can't be bothered to cook, like maybe if I'm ill or something, but I know cooking takes ages and it's a chore every day to cook and that's why I do look for things that are really quick to do. So I'll be having that later with something that else that I've prepared and I just thought I'd show you it because it is really nice, it's really tasty and it's totally different from just plain old boiled rice, which I find quite bland. It, this is quite interesting and it, it really is tasty. So do try and make it. it, it's pretty quick. You can make it literally within three quarters of an hour if you've got everything prepared. And you don't have to stand over the stove either. It's just let it simmer and it's done. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Oh, before I go, I made these yesterday. I've got a bit of a blue thing going on there. Fairy cakes with 
chocolate fudge icing on the top. People have been eating them already, but they were easy to make, but I'm quite proud of those. Mm -hmm.